Hi, my friend, it's Pat Sloan here for my daily video. And the challenge topic for today is spring is in the air. Well, it got a little chilly here in Virginia, but spring is definitely, definitely on its way. There's beautiful blossoms when I take my walk. There's those early bulbs coming up and, and I got world peace done. Ooh, so here we go. It doesn't really have a top or a bottom. I'm going to use it as a table topper. So I'm going to show it to you. Got the quilting and I used the wave stitch and I did corner to corner. So, you know, going diagonal across all of it. Now, I like that pattern that it creates. Can you see that? Here, I think you can even see it on this white even better. So that pattern is really cool. Now, I would like to do one. I've done a couple of them about this spacing now. I'd like to do one where it's double that, like in half, like, it's like subdivide that again. So that they're half as close. I think that would be pretty cool to see, but it makes a really nice effect. And I'll tell you this, took about an hour and a half to quilt it and put the binding on by machine. So there's my machine binding. So an hour and a half to get this part done. So I have a couple pictures here of it on my dining room table and that's where it's going to go. I have a round dining room table and this square actually works perfectly on there. Uh, and I have my tiered tray in the middle with all my pretty little things in it. The other one that I want to get done so that I can hang it in there are the uh, tulips from the bonus block. And these do have e the Easter egg hunt fabric in it, but that doesn't bother me that it's Easter egg. I'm going to be leaving this up all of April and probably into May. Uh, I won't change things out again until, you know, probably late May. Then I'll look at getting some summery, whatever that is, like maybe red, white, and blue type things for June and July and most of August. So about every two and a half months or so, I change things out. Yes, nice. <laughs> so I want you to show today what your spring, show a spring quilt. If you only here on YouTube, then you can tell me about a spring quilt, but come over to my Facebook group, Quilt Along with Pat Sloan, and share a picture. It is going to be a parade of quilts, I can guarantee it. Anytime I ask you to share a quilt, we have a beautiful, beautiful show and tell that goes on. Also, I am on sort of this quest to play with the little crumbs. Since I started that, it's been interesting. I thought I'm just going to keep them and just sew them when I start and stop or just sew a few late at night when I just need to sew a little something to get that relaxation. And so I did one crumb block. These are about eight by eight. That's sort of the size-ish I'm going for. Uh, and this one is with the, the Easter egg hunt fabric. And I have quite a bit more. So I have a bunch of these and then these, which I'm starting, I'm sort of starting with squares, I think, and just they're going to be more log cabin-y looking like this one is, you know, with a big center and then sort of going around it. So we'll see how many I get and how many overall I will in another day here, on another day, actually, I will show you what I did with the blue and whites. Um, so I have a whole bunch of them that are coming off of the Home Is uh, and the March Hope. Um, you know, both, no, not the March Hope. Sorry, that's not blue. <laughs> sorry, sorry, the Home Is. Anyways, I'll show you those on another day. Reminder, if you did not download your calendar, I've got it in my cute folder, your April, whoop, <clears throat> your April calendar, that is ready to download. So you can go over to the link and get it. I'll put the link in the description box below. Uh, and while you're there down below, if you would subscribe, hit that subscribe button for me and a thumbs up. Mwah. Thank you so much. That lets us all keep in contact all the time. All right, I wanna get everybody on board for the Jolly Bar 3. Hopefully you've ordered your book. Uh, if you didn't do that today, so it goes for several weeks. It goes through uh, like six or seven weeks. So if you don't get your book in time for the first week, um, you know, you're okay. It'll start next Monday, but order it today. Get that in. In addition to making the table runner, which is a sampler of all of several of the blocks in here, we're going to do the friendship bracelet. 
uh, also in uh, April. Now I want to show you my fabrics again. And all I need, the other thing I need to do is empty this. Ugh. So I have one of my bins here and this has stuff in it that is finished. Like the projects are finished. There are three projects in here that are all finished. And this is like the leftover stuff from them. It's got a cute label on it. So I need, oh, they're looking there. There's some, whoops, there's some one inch half square triangles. Look at that bonus for my bag. Oh, if, you have, if this is your very first video, go watch the last couple because I'm talking about what I'm gonna do with these little leftovers from Sew and Flip. So anyways, I need to get this emptied ASAP, like quickly so that I can put the Jolly Bar 3 in there. I will be making this sampler table runner with the kitty corn, which isn't out yet. It's delayed. It was supposed to be out, but it's delayed. So I'll be showing you the kitty corn and I'm going to do it on this black, which is sort of a nice black. It's um, a little bit more antique black maybe. It's not like pure deep dark black. So I'm, I'm excited to do that with the, the kitty corn. And I will be doing the friendship bracelet, this guy, with the Harbor Springs which is a very Americana line of red, white, and blue with some pink and cream in there. And I can't remember whether I said I was doing it on cream or on blue. What did I say I was gonna do? I'm thinking I'm gonna do it on blue just to be different. You know, see how it looks. The thing is, is that look at this quilt. There is a lot of background showing. So if I do it on cream, it will really pop out the colors of the fabric. You know, they're gonna be, I think the focus will be that chain. If I do it on blue, it will be a blue quilt. No matter how many pink strips I have in there or how many cream strips, it will be a blue quilt because there is so much blue space. Um, and, and that's fine, you know, either way is fine. And I just don't know whether I wanna experiment with doing the blue. I maybe I'll make a mock-up of a blue block uh, with some other fabrics, because uh, I need most of this Jolly Bar to do this guy. It needs 36 of these Jolly Bar pieces, and I think there's 42 in it. So there's a couple extra, but I don't want to. I don't want to waste them for a sample. So I'll probably do a sample on here just to see what I think uh, from. Um, from some other fabric I have, some other red, white, and blue fabric, or yeah, because I want to see what it looks like red. I'll do, mimic the same colors and do a block. So we have uh, the the sampler, the sew sampler was, um, they showed it over at the Fat Quarter Shop, so now I can open mine for you and me, because I don't look at it until they show it, because I don't want to spoil anybody's surprise getting their uh, sampler box. So now we can look at it, yes. So this is a subscription service, and you can order from the Fat Quarter Shop. You have to get in line. You know, they only make so many of them, and people drop in and out, and then you get an opportunity to, to join up for the subscription service. They always have a theme, and what's the theme? Happiness is homemade. Yes, I always love a good theme. Homemade is always good. So, ah, this month, if you were a subscriber on the back is a discount code for Martingale Books and of 25% off Martingale Books, and those are mine. So if you have this, uh, you can go pick up any of the books of mine for 25% off. Yes. Now there's always a little booklet that tells you what everything is, and you know me, I don't look at this in ahead of time, so it, if I have to look at the book, I might have to look see what I'm looking at. But I think this, this, so there's a silver needle case. Look at this, look how gorgeous this is. Oh my gosh. Oh here, I'll bring, I'll bring this down. Oh, ah, can I get it open? My little fingers don't work like they should. So this is a beautiful, beautiful needle case. So you open it up, there you go, and you can stick your sewing needles in here. Uh, very, very sweet. I like it. You know, because homemade, you're gonna use needles. So here are some fun bobbin colors. Ah, uh, that's neat if you're coordinating a project. They're called rainbow bobbins. And ah, uh, gorgeous. Corey's fabric in this beautiful buttery 
yellows and blues with a little pops of gray. Isn't that beautiful? Green. She does beautiful fabric. Corey Yoder, good friend of mine. And then you get a pattern to use these two charm packs. Now these two charm packs, first of all, when you get two, that is awesome because you can use them on so many things. Like my Oh My Stars just takes two charm packs and this would be beautiful Oh My Stars. You could do uh, one of the blue fabrics for the stars or take it down to one of the gray, to the gray shade for the, for the stars. That would be gorgeous. And then they also give you a pattern in your sampler. So this is the pattern. Sometimes you'll see these later on. Sometimes they have them for sale outside of the box, but usually they're exclusive to the box for a period of time. So this one, let's see if it tells me. She has a book called Chex Mex Quilts, which is with Martingale. So here is the cover of it. So you'll be able to go pick that up. It's an awesome book uh, for 25% off if you're a sampler customer because you need to have that code. Let's see, does it tell me something about the book, about the pattern? Uh, no, nothing special about it. So, but it is nice. It's a full pattern in there. Great, great, great. And then we also got, let's see, sew tile stickers. These are silicone dots. Now, what are those used for? Let's see. I don't know what they're telling you to use them for. Uh, they put them on the magnets. Okay, so they have those those um, rectangle magnets now. This is the same company, sew tiles. You stick them to the back of the tiles to keep them in place on uneven surfaces, like if you're in the car or you know, somewhere where you're setting it down, like outside where it's not even. Uh, so I'm not, I will have to investigate that. See, I have those sew tiles somewhere. I need to organize that somewhere place. <laughs> That's, do you have that somewhere place? That somewhere place gets really messy sometimes. <laughs> and then this is the end, I think, of their sampler that they did. They did this uh, do you see it there? It's whoops. It was called the greatest hits. And so they had a block every month and you could have sewed along with that. And then they gave you the layout this month. So that is our sew sampler box. How wonderful. You can pick up this Springbrook fabric. It's still available. And so, if, and then if you love it in the charm packs and you want to get a companion for a border or for backing, uh, you can do that too. This is a good day. This is a good day. It's spring. I'm so excited to have my spring quilt done and on the table in the dining room. Beautiful. Can't wait to see your spring quilts. Be sure you go over to my group, Quilt Along with Pat Sloan, and show them there. So I love you. Mwah. See you online.